welcome back to the Beach Girls. And today we're going to be fishing for Spanish mackerel. Hang tight and the Beach Girls will be with you. And he's a really good fisherman. He catches all kinds of fish. Like Spanish mackerel. Hmm. He catches flounder, red drum, and a lot of fish. Well, mostly all the ones that you can think of. <laughs> For this fishing trip, we're gonna be trolling. 3.8, six miles an hour. Water. Drop the line. line. Hold on. Guys, you shouldn't buy a lot of expensive gear. You should just buy your, I mean, you should just get your um, gear that you already have and have fun. This color is green and it looks like a green minnow. This color is golden, but it doesn't have any scales on it. And this is my dad's favorite, this one. It's, it's bright green, and I love it too. Hey guys, welcome, welcome back, back, to, back to, to the Beach, beach Girls. girls. And, and, to, and today we are gonna be catching Spanish mackerel. Woo. All right guys, see you there. Bye. Got 
gotta fish on. Get him on. There you go. At this point, we were ready to hang on the bank and have a lot of fun. Hey guys, we're back and off the boat now. And um, we're, we're just walking along the, no, the bank. Right on banks. We're watching along banks. Hey, do and you guys want to come with us for a walk? And we were finding pretty, really pretty shell. So we want you to come take a walk with us. Yeah. There's a lot of pretty shells. And there's some water over here that we're what? Show must love fishing, guys. So there is a lot of like sea grass and a lot of shells. I look got 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 by a lot of shells and they're really sharp. 
Whoa, there's a stingray. All right, I'm gonna go back and tell my mom and dad. I mean, just my mom and sister. Here's the water. Whoa, there's two little seagulls over there by my mom and sister. Hey guys, so I'm just gonna keep on walking this way. That might be my papa and my dad over there. So, yeah, but I think that's them. Hey guys, I found a stingray. All right, I gotta go. I interrupt this podcast to show you all the pretty horses that we saw. Also exhausted, we we slept on the way in. clean and cook part of the video but first we're going to tell you about the uh but first we're going to tell you about the carcass collection here we have this and we have all of this stuff um it's where the carcass collection is and there's a lot of stuff and there's like big and there's like a lot of stuff and you have to sign this up and then you put the fish in so this is the bag you put it in. You have to, there's a big bin there and, and lots of ice in it so it can keep the like carcasses of the fish um, like cold, cold. They don't get the, like rotten and gross. It's your science. Look at all these fish. We're gonna clean this big boy. So we're gonna um, cut it behind the fence. Can I cut it behind? Mm -hmm. First, cut it behind the fin. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna run it down, all the way down the bone. And stop before we get to the tail, and then fillet it. Um, we're gonna it. it. But make sure to not get the skin. Mm -hmm. Now let's do the other, now let's repeat that on the other side of the fish. Cut it behind the fin. Right, um, cut, cut it where the bone is. Cut it down the bone. And then stop before you get to the tail. And flip it over and fillet it. Flip it over and fillet it. Flip, flip it and fillet. Flip and fillet. So I'm gonna be cutting, so so this is our slaw that we're gonna be making for our, for our black fish taco. First you have to cut off these roots because you don't want to be eating any roots. You have to cut it kind of thinly and close to the roots. And then I'm gonna take two, uh, these two roots that I cut and put it in the compost bin. And now I just chop all these onions up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be adding these onions to my slaw, into the slaw that we're making. Five cups of, uh, what? A uh, diced ca cabbage, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna put in the onions that I just chopped. After you take the um, on, uh, like onions, make sure to not wipe your eyes because that onion juice might hurt your eyes. Now let's do Isla. Okay guys, I'm right here and I'm going to juice a lemon, one lemon. No, it's a lime. I mean a lime. Then and I do it like, and you do it like this. Mm -hmm. So you see, the little cracks right there. You don't. You don't put it in that way. You would think you put it in that way, but no. There's no holes right there. So you do this, do this, and then I'm gonna juice this into here. Squeeze it. 
are kind of like hard and like crunchy and well they're not crunchy they're just kind of hard this is so, how you do it ow. like right about right here isn't it right here I right, so right now I'm gonna be adding a half of a lemon a pound of asparagus and one teaspoon a tablespoon of um oil, um, olive oil. I'm gonna add a half a teaspoon, well, about a half a teaspoon of salt. We are going to um, cook this on the fire disc at the same time as the Spanish mackerel. So we have um. We have rinsed our fillets and we have uh, dried them with a paper towel and we're gonna put perfect pinch cage on on three of them because the other three these is kind of spicy. So if you don't like your spicy, then don't do spicy because she's gonna do hers without spicy stuff. I'm just gonna sprinkle it on. Now I have to flip them over. Flip the fillets, flip the fillets. fillets. So, 
I have avocado cream sauce and Spanish mackerel and cabbage and for red size. And I also have some asparagus with some thumb juice. Kiss, kiss. <laughs> and I have some avocado sauce and some couscous and what is this called? Asparagus. Asparagus. We eat. We have to say a prayer. So this God is our, <laughs> This is our thing. God bless this food, for now we take for do with the for Jesus' sake. Amen. 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 So, for my taste test, I'm going to try my um, avocado sauce, Spanish mackerel, and cabbage. I'm going to try everything. That's really good. I'm gonna try my Spanish mackerel with this like pepper roll. Mm -hmm. I really like the way we cook the Spanish mackerel. Mm. I love it. I'm gonna try some of this fish fish. And I'm gonna try some asparagus. because today is Mother's Day. Ha and happy Mother's Day if any moms are watching this. Did you know the Bible talks about um, being a good mother? The Bible talks about what a good mother is. Now I'm gonna read in the Bible, Proverbs chapter 31, verse tw 27 to 28. She watches over her Affairs. She watches over her affairs of her household and does not eat the bread of in Idle. idleness. Her children arise. Her, ch her children arise and call her blessed. Her husband also praises her. Many women do noble things, but you can surpass. But you can surpass all of them. These are the ways that my mommy blesses us. She uh, keeps me fed. I love that she's my mom. She plays with me. Me. I love that when I'm sick, she cuddles with me. We really like it when she um, teaches us school because right over here, this is our schoolroom back here. When we want to go outside, she goes outside with us and, and she watches us. She helps teach school and watches over us and, and she has fun with us. She makes my breakfast and lunch and keeps me full. My mom, that she cares for me. What I love about my mom is that she's my mom. That we have so much fun together, do fun things, and she lets us do fun stuff in our school, like crafts and stuff. And we're gonna say our sponsor is Mima. Have fun, and she's a lot, and she's really prepared. She she does a lot of fun stuff with us. And what I like about Mima is she lets us stay at her house and let us spend the night at her house. She goes fishing with us. She likes doing stuff with us and she goes to the jumping park and stuff with us. She likes going to the jumping park with us, cares about us, and she loves us so much. I love her and I like that she's my, and I love that she's my Mima. Stop the fishing trip now. 
It went amazing. We caught a lot of amazing fish and the food that we ate was like really good. I really liked the way that we cooked it and stuff. I like that we saw dolphins. I thought I like that we saw dolphins, that we saw turtles, we saw um, all sorts of stuff. And I like that all of our family came with, uh, came with us. And I like the way that he, um, my dad cooked it. For a shout out, for another shout out today, are the Hansons. For more fishing chips. Each girl's out.